Now, this tutorial is going to go over the timeline feature, which is new in Google Sheets. Timelines are a great way to document chronological experiences or events um, for history class or really just about anything. And I'm going to show you a pretty cool example here in just a minute. So we're going to go through how do you create a timeline. And so a couple of things you can do. One, you can create from scratch, which I'm going to show you here, or you can use a template. And uh, I'm going to share the template with you as well. So the first thing that we want to do is set up our, our Google Sheet. And so for this one, I'm just going to call this a timeline so I know what it is. So I've got my timeline and our sheet name. We're going to right click on this. We're going to rename this sheet. This is going to be our data, our data for our timeline. Okay. Or we can even call it events. So the first thing we want to do is our first column that we have to have is we have to have a start date. This is a required field for your timeline. You have to have what that date is. And it has to be in a date format. So the easiest way to do that is create your start date in column A. Then we're going to click on the A for to get the entire column. And we're going to form, format that column to be a date format. So we're going to go up to Format. And we're going to go to Number and Date. And we're going to format it into a date format. Now, you don't have to format it as a date format. It just makes it easy so you all of your information is going to show up in that template format. So the next thing that we've got is we are going to go in and create an end date. Now you do not have to have an end date. It's a great idea to have your end date as a column. I think it's a, a neat thing to have, especially if you're going to show length of time that things took place because um, your timeline will get longer. So an end date is a great thing, but it is optional. You don't have to have an end date. Um, same thing for this. It has to be in date format if you're going to do this. We're just going to go up and we're going to format. Going to go format our number and format it as a date as well. So we have our date timeline. The next one is another required field. And this is going to be what's called card title. The card title is going to be what do you want, what's going to be displayed on your timeline. So this is going to be a brief description of the event that took place. Okay, so this is going to be what is the information that we want to have or to take place for this, uh, for, for what our event is in our timeline. And then the next one that we've got is card detail. So we're going to go in here, card detail. Now card detail is an expanded view and we can put a lot more information into the card detail. So the, it might be start of the Civil War, it might be, you know, whatever it is, is your card title. Card detail could give you the exact events or what triggered the start of the Civil War or whatever it is that you're looking for for your card detail. Um, again, the card detail is optional. Don't need to have that one in there. Um, the next one that we've got that is also optional is color. Color is a great thing uh, that you can use, and this will set the color of your events on your timeline. What color is it going to show up as? And we'll show you this here in just a second. Um, it can really help. Maybe it's uh, you're doing, again, like a Civil War, and you're going to do one color for Confederacy events and one color for Union events, whatever it is that you would like to have with it. So you can, you can look at and set up your color however it is that you would like to. And then in addition to color, you can have another optional event, which would be a group. Um, and so it could be pre-war group, post-war group, current or during the war group, whatever it is that you want for your, for your event or whatever it is that you've got. So I'm going to show you a couple of things that we've got. We're going to go through and create uh, a start date or an event and I kind of show you what it looks like and we're going to go from there. So the first thing that you're going to do is I'm going to create and I'm, I'm creating a timeline of Back to the Future, the, the chronological timeline of the first Back to the Future movie. Credit out to Screen Rant and Futurama for the um, for the event timeline that I'm using for today. So the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to put my date in as 10-12-1985. Now, here's what you would need to have. If you don't know an exact start date, say something started in... 1970 or 1980 what you would do is you still have to give it a month day format right so if you if all we know is that something happened about this time like i give you an example in the back to the future movies george mcfly became an author after getting visited by marty mcfly 
So I'm, I know it happened in that 70s time range from the movie data. So what I would do is I would say, okay, I'm going to do 01, 01, 1970, right? So I still have to give it a month and a day. So if you're doing this with your students or if you're doing this for a school project and you have a year that it happened, it happened in 1870 or 1970 or 1982, you still have to give that event a date format. So your end dates, you don't need to give it an end date, but the end dates come in handy and I'll show you here because it extends out the length of time that something happens. If you either don't give it an end date or give it an end, end date up to the next event, um, your timeline will, your colors will all kind of, will kind of land, land together to get you something. And so um, for this one, I'm going to put it, it was just the one day, so I'm going to make it the same thing. It's October 12th, 1985. So now for card title, one of the things that's really cool with the card title is you can include in emojis. So emojis really help you to get your information in there. So I would use Emojipedia. And I just copied and pasted a lab coat. And so for this first event, October 12th of 1985, Libyan terrorists stole some plutonium thinking that Doc Brown was going to make them a weapon. He, in fact, used it to power up the time machine. And so that's going to be the, the card titles of plutonium is stolen. I'm going to go over to my card detail. And so what I'm going to put in here is I'm going to put some additional information in here for this card detail. And... Here it is. Oh, oh, I didn't want to do that as an entire link. Let's get this here. Let's get this all set up here. And I'm going to put this in here. So one of the things, uh oh, let's do, let's see here. I want to get this. I want to show you this real fast. So I'm going to do copy. And let's paste this in here. There it is. Okay. So now we've got our living, so I've got in here living terrorists, steal plutonium, give it to Doc Brown, thinking he's going to build a weapon for them. One of the things that I can do when I format this is when I get to this line, so I've got in here that Doc Brown was going to build a weapon for them. If I want to put line breaks or write things in paragraph format, if I hold down the control key and hit enter, it gives me a, a line break for it. So it'll give me a line break. I can also format this cell. So if I do my formatting options for wrapping, I can say that I want to have my text wrapped so that it doesn't go over into my next cells. So makes it nice and easy. So you have your overflow or wrapping. So we're going to put this in here so that uh, Libyan terrorists steal the plutonium, give it to Doc Brown. Doc use it for his time machine. The other thing that we can do, and I'm going to put another uh, line break in here is you can include in links to resources or other things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link into here and there's my link. When I click off of this, the link will actually show up as a, as a clickable link for your timeline. Then for coloring, one of the things that we can choose with your coloring, like I said, is you can pick whatever colors it is that you would like to do. So for this, you just format by filling the cell in with your fill color, and you can choose any color you would like to. And so what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to choose this yellow color, and I'm going to just say that in, that's going to be the color for my event. And I could take it a step further saying, hey, these are all of my present day events are going to be this yellow color. Actually, I'm going to make this so it makes sense when I bring my timeline over. I did this orange color. So my present day events are going to be orange color my past events i'm going to make this greenish color so i'm just going to go in i'm going to do my fill my past events are going to be a greenish color um you can take it a step further and i can even create my groupings and say this is present and this is past once you get all of your information put into your timeline what you're going to do is you're going to come up here you're going to hit this insert button we're going to insert ourselves in a timeline so we're going to insert a timeline and we have to select our data. So we have to select our data range. Now, one of the things that's great with this is if we've got all of our, if we've got all of our, our stuff in here, so we're going to select here my start date and I'm just going to go and I'm going to select all of the columns and, and get the data that I've got here. So right now I've just got the one or the one event. So I'm going to put this in here, Let's slide this out of the way to make sure 
that we got it. So I'm going to select my event. Now, obviously, if I had more events, I would select all of my events or come down to select everything. And I'm going to hit the OK button. So this now creates our data. Okay, so now what we've got here for our data sheet. So we've got in here the plutonium is stolen. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I have my start date. And I've labeled it here as start date. My end date is going to be my end date card. Card title is going to be card title. So then my optional fields, what I can do here is I can say color is going to go to my color sheet. Card detail is going to go to my card detail sheet. And my group is going to go to my group sheet. Right? And so then I can see everything that I've got for my timeline. I'm going to show you here. I'm going to bring over some completed timeline information. So here is a completed Back to the Future timeline that we that I've put together for you. And then what you can what we can do is we can actually click and see what this timeline looks like. And so when we look at this, I have my uh, present events as well as my past events. So if we look at this, um, this right here, so I've got from November 5th, 1955 to November 12th, 1955, the amount of time Marty McFly spends in the past. And so as I click on these events, I can see the different things that had happened and I can scroll through my timeline. And one of the things I talked about, see how you give the end dates? I created this, and this is not accurate. I don't know how long George McFly was writing science fiction books. I just put a date on here for a period of three years to show you the start date of November 7, 1970 to December of 1973 to give you that the length of the timeline to show you how that expands with my card coloring. And then my current events are all here. So I can click the plutonium is stolen. I've got a link to information from Futurepedia, uh, the Back to the Future Wiki on plutonium. Uh, I can go back to that. I can see this is when Marty goes to the doc's house. He's late for school. Um, Marty goes to the Twin Pines Mall, and then Marty comes back, wakes up wondering if it was a dream to find his new truck. George is an author. So I can, so I can see all of the events that took place between Marty McFly going back in 1955 to present day at the time, 1985. Great start for timelines, and there's a lot of really cool stuff you can do with your timelines. Hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial.